In this video, we're going to give you a basic overview of how to repair a flat tire on a bike. We'll remove the wheel, replace the inner tube, and put it all back together. Hello, Calvin Jones here with Park Tool Company. First, let's go over the tools and supplies needed. Typical tools and supplies will include wrenches as needed to remove the wheel, if any, tire levers to remove the tire, a pump or CO2 cartridge to reinflate the tire, and a spare inner tube. When riding, always try to carry a spare tube if you can. In the event of a flat, replace with the spare and patch the damaged tube later. Learn how to apply an inner tube patch, watch this video. If at any point you need a more detailed look at the process happening on screen, click the More Info button. Let's get started. First, we need to remove the wheel. If you have rim brakes, disengage the brake. This may be a quick release lever, a linkage that must be manually disconnected, or a button at the brake lever. Now, we can move the wheel from the frame. It's time to get the inner tube out of the tire. First, deflate the tube completely. Push both sides of the tire towards the center of the rim to loosen the bead from against the rim sidewall. Engage a tire lever between the rim and tire bead. Pull down to lift the bead up and over the rim. Take a second lever a few inches away and repeat. Continue to feel the bead loosen enough to run the lever under the tire bead. Remove the second bead from the rim using levers as necessary. The tire and tube are now removed from the wheel. Since we recommend always carrying a spare tube, this video walks through the replacement process. If you're looking to repair or patch your inner tube, watch this video. When servicing a flat tire, always inspect the components of the wheel carefully for tears, damage, and foreign objects. Knowing the cause of the flat can help prevent future flats. In most cases, the cause of a flat will be a small puncture in the tube. If the offending object is still present in the tire, find it and remove it. If there are cuts or rips that go through the casing of the tire, the tire really needs to be replaced. As a temporary fix, we can use the TB2 tire boot. A small puncture through the tire casing won't compromise the tire. And if a larger cut does not break through the casing, the tire should still be okay. Be sure to squeeze the cut and inspect inside for glass or other sharp objects. Now we install the tube. Unfold the inner tube. Put just enough air into the tube for it to hold its shape. Install the tube inside the tire. To make it easier to find when inflating your tire, try to line up the valve stem with the pressure recommendations on the tire sidewall. Check for any directional arrows printed on the sidewalls and align the tire with the rim accordingly. Engage the valve stem into the rim, being sure it is aligned so that it will not be crooked. Work one bead at a time onto the rim. After one bead is installed, begin to push the other bead up and into the rim seat. Only if necessary, use tire levers to finish the bead installation. Work with care not to pinch the tube or you may be repeating the entire process. Inspect the wheel to make sure the bead is uniformly seated and the inner tube is not poking out from underneath the tire. Begin to inflate the tire. Add a little bit of air, then spin the wheel to check how the bead is seating. If the bead rises up in one spot, deflate the tire, push it back down to reseat the bead. If the tire dips down in one spot, the bead needs to come up. Here, some extra inflation can help, but use care not to blow the tire off the rim. If more air pressure does not pop the bead up, Deflate the tire and use the lubricant in that spot, such as soapy water.
Inflate the tire to full pressure. Tighten the Presta valve stem and install any stem nut and valve cap. The wheel is ready to install. We engage the smallest cog onto the chain. Seat the axle into the dropouts and tighten appropriately. Be sure to re-engage the brake. Verify the wheel is centered in the frame and the rotor is centered in the caliper. Adjust if necessary. That concludes the process for fixing a flat tire. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for the latest videos from Park Tools.